Hello, I am Michael, a technical marketing engineer for Intersight, and in this video I will be showing you the basics of orchestration in Intersight. Now, to get started, we're already loaded into the Cloud Orchestrator view here in Intersight, and the first thing you're going to see are workflows. If you want to execute anything in Intersight orchestration, you're going to run a workflow. And workflows are essentially a combination of tasks. And tasks are individual activities, atomic activities, that do one specific thing. The last thing you need to know about are data types. Those are just inputs, like string and so on. Now, let's get started by first creating a workflow ourselves. You can see there's a lot of them already here, but we're going to create our own. Let's give it a name so we can identify it again later, and then we jump into the designer view. In the designer view, you can see there's a lot of tasks like networking, um, there's also storage, Terraform Cloud, and there's virtualization. So these are the main categories of tasks that we offer in Intersight Orchestration, and you can quickly search through them to, for example, find a task that creates a new server profile from a template. So we drag and drop it into the field and connect it. And now we have a very, very basic workflow. As you can see, it's invalid because it is requiring some additional inputs to be populated. If we click on the task, we can actually see that this input still needs to be populated. And we can just select it here from a list. So no typing strings or anything, we can just select things from a list. Same thing for this input, uh, we can populate it as a workflow input, for example, which is an input that end users can provide. So we just click on it and it automatically generates all the required data for the workflow input. We don't need to type anything ourselves unless we want to modify it. Okay, now we can actually go ahead and execute this workflow. So as you can see, we're going to be asked for a name that this new profile should get, which is going to call it YouTube. And then we're going to execute the workflow. Now this is going to run all the tasks that we have in order. Now in this case, we only have one single task. So after that is done, the workflow will complete successfully. Well, let's say we're not happy with what we just did. We can actually click on the rollback button, which will bring up the rollback pane. And that will allow us to undo actions we've just performed. So this will actually delete the profile we just created. This is one of the most powerful features in ICO because we can just create something and then undo it again. But let's say that what you want to do is not possible with the built-in functionality. Well, we also have executors in Intersight Orchestration these executors allow you to write custom automation, for example, Ansible playbooks, HTTP requests, or SSH commands. And there's also PowerShell. There's also additional operations we can use. So for example, loops and conditions. So here we actually have this large child workflow, which as you could see, is running inside of a loop in the parent workflow. And once you build the workflow that you're completely happy with, you can actually export it and import it into a different Intersight account. So here we're just gonna click on the export button and up there there's an import button so you can load workflows into Intersight again. Now there's a ton of other videos on Intersight orchestration out there, so go ahead and check out our playlist. <laughs> 